I'm Francis Lamb, and this is The Splendid Table from APM. I get it. You know, Thanksgiving is going to be different this year. I mean, my annual tradition is to actually fly to Minnesota, stay there to host our live Thanksgiving call-in show, Turkey Confidential, then rush out of the studio like the minute it's over to catch a flight back to New York that gets me walking into my neighbor's house just as the pies come out. I kiss my wife, kiss my kid, have a slice, and that's my version of the holiday. And you know, this year, I actually get to be at home because we're pre-taping Turkey Confidential thanks to COVID. But you know what? I'm going to miss my weird version of Thanksgiving this year because I love talking to you all on that day. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to miss your traditions, your nieces, your uncles, your parents, or your kids. And honestly, I think there are a couple ways to go about this, right? We can focus on the things that are going to be different, or if we can, we can try to focus on the fact that this year, more than most, we have to cherish the things that we have to be thankful for. And when it comes to dinner that night, I think you can lean into the difference. So a minute ago, when Bricia Lopez was talking about her perfect Thanksgiving bite, and she said, And then when you're like left with like one bite left before you swallow, you take a chug of like a very nice wine. Well, that got us thinking that we should wrap up the show with a little wine advice. I'm Elizabeth Schneider, host of the Wine for Normal People podcast and author of the book, Wine for Normal People. And every year when you are a wine person, people love to ask, hey, what should I have with my Thanksgiving meal? And the answer I always have is something they don't like, which is it's such a complex meal. You need to have more than one wine on the table. Now, this year, let's think about helping some people out because it has been a very, very tough year for wineries in America. We had the fires in Napa and Sonoma. We had an early terrible frost in Virginia, which almost ruined their industry. The Finger Lakes has had problems too. So I'm going to recommend four wines that we're going to take you through the meal and we're all going to help our fellow Americans out with these wines. First, Sparkling wine. I know we don't usually think of sparkling wine from Virginia, but let me tell you, if you have not explored the Monticello AVA from Virginia around Charlottesville, Afton Mountain, Bolanchine, an amazing wine. It will be perfect for your appetizers for the beginning soups. It's going to cut through some of that cream, some of the heaviness. Fantastic wine. And if you want, you can keep it around for dessert too. For the main course, you really need a white and a red to kind of go through all of that food that's going to be savory and heavy. Some's going to be sweet. Riesling, Smith Madrone. My friends at Smith Madrone, their winery almost burned to the ground on Spring Mountain in Napa. They make Riesling that is lively and fresh and like limes, and it has that aromatic quality. It's going to go great with everything that is really heavy with butter, but also it can handle some of those sweeter dishes, like your sweet potatoes and things like that. And for red, Cabernet Franc, acorn from the Russian River Valley of Sonoma. It is such a great all-rounder. It's going to go great with the turkey and with the stuffing, with gravy. It has enough acidity to break through some of that heaviness, but also nice complementary flavor. And finally, you need a dessert wine because dry wine with dessert is icky. So go for a sweet wine. Anthony Road in the Finger Lakes cultivates Vignole, which is this strange grape that really only you can find in the Finger Lakes. They have a late harvest 2019. It's like 24 bucks. It's a great end to your meal. Pecan pie, anything creamy. It'll even stand up to chocolate. Great acidity, fantastic flavor. Those are my picks. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And cheers. Let's all raise a glass to the firefighters and all the first responders who have done so much for us this year. That's Elizabeth Schneider, author of Wine for Normal People, and the podcast of the same name. You can find her wine picks at SplendidTable.org. And that is our show. Thanks for listening. Happy Thanksgiving to you from all of us. May you have much to be thankful for.